Hello everyone. Today we are gonna know about uh, the scoroutine jobs. What is scoroutine jobs and why do we use it? So first of all, I am giving you a, a theory a little bit so you can understand what the hell is it. Then we would go on to implement it. So first, the job is a cancelable thing with a life cycle that culminates in its completion. Coroutine job is created with launch coroutine builder. It runs a specified block of code and completes on completion of this block. What does it mean? Actually, it means that uh, if you want to run a, co a specific line of code and directly we want to cancel it and uh, before the specific line of code. So for that we would use this coroutine jobs. So we can uh, also start at a specific time and we can also finish it at a specific time. Okay. Now here things uh, which can done with using job. What uh, things we can do with it? We can join this and we can also cancel it uh, with this. Okay. First what is join? Join function is a suspending function. It can be called from a coroutine or from within another suspending function. Job blocks all the threads until the coroutine. In it uh, simply it means that uh, it uh, starts some function at a specific time uh, which surrounded uh, with the thread. Okay, and we are, uh, we have used that uh, launch etc. With a coroutine builder, we have used it to start that, and we want to run that line of code at a specific place. So we would use the join for it. So let's go to Android Studio and implement this. First, uh, you should know about the coroutine job implementation here. So create a, a global scope dot launch, and here pass a dispatcher dot main all right you can pass anything and uh, now it's not a job here we have already done it before uh, in the last videos but it's not a job so to make it a job here so you have to, uh, to create a variable here like well job equal to this now this is created a job okay now everything which we want uh, here that would run uh, we can uh, uh, run it everywhere okay uh, using join uh, method here actually join is a, a suspended functions now here if I want to run this line of code here after uh, so we can use job dot join here all right and now look at this uh, this is a suspended function here uh, look at this icon uh, here it shows that it is suspended function here and uh, how we can use it so we would use a run block a run block for this or we would create a new a suspended function for this so cut this and here look this is not giving any error and uh, now uh, uh, let me run something here uh, for what uh, let me run this repeat here the five and uh, here let me print something log d and here coroutines is still working and here pass a delay here let me pass 2000 millisecond here now here also pass some uh, log message here so you would know here which is uh, working for this tag I have created this okay if you are confused at it you will create this one you can uh, create it uh, like uh, by log t simply you can create it okay and you have to pass it in this companion object and you can also do it with another way but I don't want to discuss that now and for here proteins are finished all right now this is done and here let me run the app so what does we get here for now change it to default one and then run now here first this one is uh, run and uh, this is look repeating five times 
and finally it is finished you can uh, run this before everything like uh, if I use here a delay here now what if I want to cancel it let me do it one second uh, this two is more and uh, if I want to cancel it first uh, let me create a delay here again so you would understand it better 2000 millisecond here and uh, then job dot cancel and I recommend this and uh, look uh, when I run this app here what uh, we would get here uh, first uh, this would print uh, this message but uh, when uh, before this delay when this finishes it would directly cancel the job okay now and uh, then it would run the third line here let me run the app you would understand it better now look first one is run and second and third when two seconds are finished I look the coroutines are finished here uh, fourth and five one is not run here because this is cancelled basically this run blocking is used for the blocking purpose of a coroutine uh, blocking purpose of something here now here you understand that these three would run after this delay finishes it would directly cancel the job but every time this cancelling is not that easy as we are doing it here so uh, let me create that functionality so you would understand that how it is not that easy here I have used this Fibonacci as function here I can't uh, explain this now because it would take uh, more time uh, I have directly copied it uh, you can also copy it in from there here and I would also give it uh, in the description here in this uh, let me remove this uh, and paste code here because I can write it again and again it would waste your time here what I have done here just printed this message this log here and created a for loop here this is a, a for loop in a Java uh, in Kotlin you can uh, from 30 to 40 it would run on this message and I will also gonna print this I in this uh, 30 to 40 okay uh, actually what does Fibonacci do increments the number so when I run this app now and uh, here it would uh, go up to two minutes two seconds and then it would change that uh, job here cancel the job here but it won't uh, cancel because it always it is not easy to cancel the job here so let me run the app here now look here it what it has done uh, starting a long calculation here this is uh, it has printed this and then from 30 to 40 so it has printed the whole 40 here and uh, directly it is ending of uh, the calculation long calculation and even it is cancelled between this uh, again look it is running again and again uh, it has been cancelled uh, before but now still it is running because why it is not getting cancelled here what we would do with this here now we would here check a condition here like if this coroutine is cancelled or not if this job is cancelled or not it would check it in that condition and if it is not cancelled so it would go ahead and if it is cancelled it would stop there so for that which condition here if is active and print that in this uh, now and it would first check it if it is not cancelled so then it would run the app, this line of code so let me run the app you would understand it. now look here 30 31 and it is uh, coroutines are finished here look this is printed now where I have printed this look this here coroutines are finished it has just uh, printed this one here after this and the 37 38 39 is cancelled here again this are printing but it is not executing why because it is cancelled here this uh, condition is checking the that uh, if it is not cancelled look if you see here scroll at this and uh, pub, it is the boolean function and uh, returns true when the current job is still 
active and uh, has completed and was not cancelled yet. Check the property is long running computation loops to support cancellation. If it is uh, cancelled or not, it just check that one. Okay. Instead of this uh, delay, we can also use another function like let me comment this. We would use here with the with timeout, and here we would pass that millisecond here again, two thousand millisecond. All right, and we would paste this for loop here in between this uh, and uh, when it get runs it will check uh, how much it is running now so let me run the app now look here again 30 31 32 33 and uh, so on and uh, at 36 it is cancelled the job is cancelled here look it is started again okay why because we have used a timeout function here it would run the whole code of for this two second here and uh, if we uh, make it three seconds so it would run the whole code for three second all right now here are some other function we would use that uh, now let me comment this uh, delete it okay also delete the whole of this one delete this one now here create of one function here private private fun private suspend function create a suspend function here and uh, give it a name of execute you can give any name here all right and uh, for that uh, we would create one coroutine here coroutine scope and dispatcher dot main and here dot launch dot launch here and uh, we would call that uh, function here now what we would create it here we would uh, create a child and parent job here what are that let's know about that so let me create a first a parent job well parent job here parent job all right and uh, global scope dot launch and pass that context dispatcher dot let me pass this uh, main here dispatcher dot main all right now here i would also create a ch uh, child job here so for that child job equal global scope dot launch and here uh, don't pass anything here just uh, let uh, you understand the parent and uh, child job uh, thread here so here we would print log d and instead of this uh, we would print parent job and job and here dollar for routine for routine context here all right and uh, copy this one here and change it to child one okay now when I run the app what you would get here here let me change this to uh, global scope here global scope dot launch and uh, remove this cut this paste it here and remove this all right and call that execute here okay now what here let me run the app now here you can see this one has changed this is a default one and this is a main one uh, so why why we are getting this because we have passed here a global scope we ha don't have to pass it here we just have to pass a launch here and when we pass this one here and run the app again you can see now uh, this child uh, job is getting the uh, thread of the parent job here why because we have not passed it uh, anything here and first we were passing the uh, global scope here so we were getting this default one now what if you have to understand that which one was run first and which one would run after that so here let me create uh, a log message log d 
parent job started all right and here copy this and change it to child job started all right now here pass a delay delay let me pass here five second after this parent job here uh, here also finish this parent job uh, uh, after this uh, first uh, this one and here below child job started and child child job ended here okay now also copy this here and here parent job ended parent job ended here okay now after this parent job here just join this one parent job dot join okay and uh, before this uh, pass a delay delay of three second here okay let me run the app now now here look at this first parent job is started and then parent job is ended because why because here if you look at this when the parent job is started it has after this one this is uh, started this uh, launch this child job is started and here and before this one uh, it has printed this parent job ended and after this this child job is started here and look at this child job started and child job ended why because we passed up a uh, delay here all right this was all about the jobs uh, uh, coroutine jobs and uh, i hope you understand it and if this video was helpful please hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get regular updates and if you have any question uh, ask me in the comment don't hesitate to ask okay thank you